Hi, so it's Chris at Never Strange with an update for this coming weekend. It's uh, Friday the 28th of March. Uh, in terms of snow cover at the moment, we're still looking pretty good from the middle to upper mountain. We've lost Linny uh, and we will be looking to make snow if uh, conditions allow at that level to reinstate Linny Run, but however at the moment it's uh, not possible to do that. So we've still got really good cover in the Alpha and Rabbit Run so on lower down and middle and upper mountain, as I say, it's still full cover, 90% uh, of the fence is buried, it's looking really good up there. Starting to get that spring condition way where it's uh, firm in the morning and it softens up through the day so you know doing a bit of grooming at night and allowing that to set up overnight and then in the morning we're grooming up the lower areas just so it's a lot, little bit softer uh, for lower abilities and so on. So in terms of snow we're looking alright, uh, in terms of lifts, uh, for this weekend we plan to operate everything except the Great Glen Chair, Linny and Braveheart. Uh, the reason we're not running Braveheart this weekend is forecast aside, I'll come come back to that, is uh, because it's, uh, as I say, spring conditions, it's been firming up overnight and because we've had quite a strong easterly and southeasterly winds, it's not softening much over there at all. Uh, today, for example, it was uh, ice axes and crampons recommended for skiing in there, which is it's not really ideal. So we've taken the decision that Braveheart won't run this weekend. Uh, looking forward to this weekend in terms of events, we've got a Rosignol ski demo which is happening on Sunday. Uh, time to be arranged but I'd imagine it would be about uh, half past 10, 11 o'clock and as usual I think that will take place at the Goose Tea Bar Drive. So there will be plenty of skis there for, uh, to try out and so on snowboards. There's also a Scottish Snow Festival Mass Descent which I believe is happening on either the Saturday or the Sunday, it's quite flexible. Uh, again, due to the forecast, we've got various options of when that can start, at what level on the mountain it's going to start at. And it's just a bit of fun, it's just a mass descent uh, back down to the top station. So, And it's open to folk of all abilities, so that should be quite good. Uh, obviously it's Mother's Day on Sunday as well, we've got uh, a special offer in the restaurant for cream teas and so on. So uh, there'll be something for everybody uh, on Sunday as well there. Uh, looking forward to the forecast, which I have mentioned a little bit about this weekend. It's Again, at the moment, I mean, we're only one day away, it's Friday today. They're saying tomorrow, they still don't know whether it's going to be east or southeast. If it's southeast, you know, the gondola's not going to run, it's as simple as that. Uh, it's forecast to be up to 60 uh, miles an hour southeast, when really in the gondola it can only handle up to maybe 25, 30 from that direction, straight down the line, it's the worst possible direction for us. So we'll just have to see how that goes. Sunday, again, we don't have much information that's uh, of note for Sunday, just that it's still saying south or southeasterly gales, strong gale force on the, on the higher tops. So this season you've heard me talk about the, the strain it's had on the machines, all the work we've had to do pushing all the snow and uh, how we've had one or two breakdowns. Just to give you an example, this is the 280 winch cap which is in the garage again. It's been in for a few days now. Uh, we've been diagnosing a fault uh, on the front blade. Uh, with a bit of advice from uh, David at Glen Shee, he's uh, been on the phone giving us a few tips and sent us a couple of springs uh, for one of the proportional valves. So we hope to have this back up and running in a few days. I'm also waiting on a slew ram for the tiller, which uh, the weld actually cracked in it. I mean, it's just one of these things you just can't legislate for. It's wear and tear and that's what happens. Yeah, so this machine's done uh, nearly 7,000 hours, so it's getting pretty tired. It's uh, a machine we used to rely on, you know, absolutely. It was, uh, one of the, it was the main machine in the mountain. Now it's uh, become the second machine and it's, uh, you know, it's not something we can rely on 100%. It's, it's had a few breakages this year. Uh, and, you know, we're starting to think now, you know, maybe some reinvestment in another machine in uh, the next couple of years. So just watch this space.